What's good everybody and welcome back to the channel. We're back with another dress like challenge. We did Travis Scott and Lil Uzi Vert in the past couple weeks. Those videos have done amazing. So this time we're doing Jaden Smith. Now I know Jaden Smith gets a little bit of hate for what he wears sometimes. So we're gonna try to find an outfit that kind of works out for everybody and see if we can find something on that cheaper price point because this is gonna be a summer outfit. So we're not gonna have a bunch of layers and stuff because it's a little hot where I live about 80 to 90 degrees. So we're gonna keep it as a summer outfit. And also, I want you guys to comment down below. If you guys like this, go ahead and comment down below the next person you wanna see because I've been going through the comments. I've seen Tyler the Creator, I've seen Ian Connor. So let me know in the top like comment, I'm gonna go ahead and do that video. As well as if we can reach a certain like point on this video, I'll do it for a $500 challenge. If we can reach 4,500 likes, I will do a $500 challenge. So there's your guys' challenge right there. 4,500 likes, I'll do a $500 challenge for the top like comment down below for the person that you guys wanna see. So let's go ahead and get into this. As always, let's go ahead and head to the computer and type in Jaden Smith Fashion and see what we can come up with. So we'll go to images. There's gonna be some questionable things in here. I know some people don't like some of the things that he wears, like I said, but let's just go ahead and check some out. This is actually a dope outfit right here. Not too big of a fan of the biker denim, but I think it's a pretty clean outfit. But this one? That one's pretty, that one's pretty crazy actually. I think those boots or, or shoes, whatever they are, are kind of crazy. I actually really like this outfit, but it's a little bit warm for this time of year. So maybe in the winter time we could do another one of these, but that one's a little bit hot. Let's go ahead and keep looking. Another, I think these are all from like a GQ shoot and that's why they all have like the similar look. And like this one, this is another outfit that I think is pretty fire, but again, a little bit hot. So let's keep looking. Here's kind of a simple look. The shorts are a little short for me, but we got like a shirt, some, Nike's on, pretty simple outfit. I don't know about that one. Let's see if we can find something else. So here's one of the reasons why Jaden Smith gets a little bit of hate because he's done photo shoots like this and like a skirt. Now, if he wants to do that, that's all him. He can express himself however he wants. Just not my thing in particular. So we're gonna kind of stay away from that. Again, like this outfit right here, I like it. Just a little bit hot for this time of year. I actually like this outfit right here. I've seen him in something similar to this wearing the same shirt. And now this shirt is a Yeezy season shirt. So I know if I pick this one, everybody's big. Oh, why are you doing Yeezy when you're doing something with Jaden Smith? I just think this is a decent like kind of combo for a summertime, but let's keep looking to see. Maybe we can find the other one. I think I found the one I wanted to do right here now. I know it's Yeezy season, but Kanye doesn't use like expensive shirts when he's doing like the typical Yeezy stuff. Like when he does his actual Yeezy line, those are actually a bit more expensive and they are actually nice shirts, but these are typically printed on regular t-shirts. So you might be able to find something like that. So we're trying to keep this outfit around 50 to $75. That's my range because I want to make it a cheap summer outfit if you guys want to do it. So we'll break it down and see what we have in it. So of course we got the Easy 350 Boost. We're not going to include shoes in this one. I feel like we should just go for like the shoes that he had in the original picture where they're kind of like a van style, just a nice simple black shoe. I think that'd be good for this. We've got some nice pants. They could either be jeans or joggers. I feel like they're like skinny jeans. So we could definitely take care of that. Then we've got the Yeezy shirt. Now we're probably just gonna try to find something similar to that. And then we have a shirt under there, which is like a layering shirt or maybe a layering tank. You could do something like that. I think that that is a good outfit to do. So let's go ahead and try to find something for it. Let's just go ahead on Google and type in camo long sleeve t-shirt. Because I don't wanna go to like all the same uh, companies that I usually go to. I just like to kind of See if we can find it in Google. And I mean, there's gonna be some weird colored camo shirts that come out of this, but like the real camo, but let's just go ahead and look. Literally what, the sixth option in Rothko Woodland camo shirt. That literally looks like the exact shirt. Let's type in. So here's Tyga in it. And it looks like it's got like the cuffs down by the wrist that are green and then around the neck, it's got green as well. And the similar print. So what happened here? Let's. Literally, it's got the green down by the wrist around the neck. That's literally the exact same shirt. So I'm thinking Rothko was the blanks that they used. Now I see some other ones that are like $10.99 cheaper here, but I feel like Zoomies is kind of like a more trusted website than anything else because it's like a bigger name. So I feel like it'd be safer to go with that, but literally $20. So we still have like what, 30 to 40 bucks to work with. That is perfect. So we'll go ahead, we're gonna order this. I'm probably gonna go for a size large. Now, hopefully this fits pretty good because I do have to get something to go underneath it, but I think a size large would be good. Next, we need to move on to the shirt underneath. Now, for the shirt underneath, I kind of wanted to go to ASOS this time and see possibly if we could find something there. So we could go something cream, but I'm probably gonna go with white because I feel like it's gonna be easier to do and find. So I found this tank right here. It's a long line tank. It's got like cuts on the sides. Uh, you can't really see it from here. 
but there's like a little disconnect there. I think this would be a good shirt. The only thing that I would say is the shipping because it's gonna take a while to get here. So honestly, if you live overseas, I feel like that this would be the best place for you to go. But for this video, I feel like it's gonna take a little bit long. So there is one other place that I know that makes long line tees that I actually have one because I have a bunch of their clothes. So I'm gonna see what their prices are at now and maybe this could work because it's almost at that same price point. So let me go ahead and look here. This is what I'm talking about. So right here, they have a white, it's called their split hem layering tank. So $14, super cheap. So you can see it's got the slits on the side a little bit longer in the back. And I feel like this would be a little bit better for summertime getting a tank just because the long sleeve shirt might be a little bit hotter. So I feel like this could work right here. And since I already have it, I don't have to worry about shipping or anything. I mean, why would I buy the same shirt that I already have and the proper size that I have? So let's go ahead and make a sticky note for all of this and kind of map it out. So camo shirt, $14, no, camo shirt is $25. Tank is, let's just round it up to $15. And then we'll go ahead and look for pants next. That's what we gotta do. When I'm looking for cheaper pants, I'll typically go to H&M just because they have a good look, but they have that cheaper price point as well. Like Forever 21 doesn't really have the good like fitting stuff in my opinion, but H&M always has that like good denim, like that's good fitting. They have a lot of options and it's a little bit cheaper. Obviously I'm trying to go cheaper for this because I don't want to spend too much. Let's see what we have left. So 15 plus. Uh, 25 is 40 bucks. So we try to want to be around that what 20 to 30 dollar range Let's see if we can find something here. So they've got like these skinny low jeans here. I think I've seen these in store But up close like yeah, I don't like the materials like when I saw them in store I don't like the way they looked so let's keep going. What are these super skinny jeans that might work So I know like if we look at this they look pretty skinny and so this might be able to work Hopefully these are too skinny, but I mean they're just black pants 25 bucks size 30 available Let's go ahead, we can just do that. I mean, that's pretty simple. Pants, 25, so we're looking at what? 65 bucks, that is pretty solid to me. So what we're gonna do now is wait for everything to come in. Obviously, I don't have to order the tank, but we gotta get the pants, we gotta get the shirt, wait for that to come in, and then we'll go ahead and see what the outfit looks like on me. All right, so we're back. Let's go ahead and break down what we got, and then we'll go ahead and see what it looks like on me. So we got the shirt right here from Zoomies. It is a Rothko shirt, and I'm assuming that's like a Gildan company where they just sell like blanks and stuff, and you can probably get it cheaper, like 10 bucks a shirt somewhere else. And I'll try to link those down below if I can, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and just stick with the Zoomies one, 20 bucks, and it literally looks identical to it. Like, I, there's not much to say on it. I think it came out good. I'm worried about the size. It might be a little bit small, I think. For a size large, so I might need to go with the XL, but we'll see when I get everything on. Then, of course, we have the layering tank from Elwood right here, size large. If you guys don't know what size I went with, I mean, not much to talk about. It's a layering tank, 15 bucks, great price. So, last thing we got is the denim right here from H&M. Now, I've got a few pairs of denim from H&M. They're not the best quality, like I said, and I can even feel that, but these are actually a little bit stretchy. They look pretty tight, though, so I'm worried about that, worried about being a little tight. I know I have, like, skinny legs, so maybe that'll help me and it'll be a little bit loose, but... I'm hoping they're not too tight. 25 bucks, size 30 is what I went with. And of course it says super skinny fit. So let's hope that that looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and put the outfit on and see what it looks like together. And then we'll come back and talk about it afterwards. There's the outfit. I think it looks pretty good. Honestly, the shirt is a little bit tight up by the chest. Like the sleeves have like a good amount of bagginess, but as far as it goes up here, I feel like I could have gone with extra large like I was worried about, but hey, it works for the video. The tank is fitting good. I've had it for a while, like I said, and it's fit me fine. So it looks good at the bottom of the shirt. And I like how the shirt is like loose at the bottom and it doesn't come like to like a point, I guess you could say. I don't know, it doesn't have a tape or anything. So it's loose and the shirt looks good under it. Then we have the pants. Those are a little bit tight too. Uh, I thought since I was skinny, like I said, that they wouldn't be as tight, but they're pretty tight. So I know H&M has a bunch of different options if you guys wanna get something looser, if you have bigger thighs. So what I'll do is I'll link a bunch of different pants down below that are 
black and might fit differently. So I'll have these, have all the different ones there, as well as I have this shirt, and I'll have some other options like the tank if you wanna go with ASOS, I'll link that down below. And I'll just try to link a bunch of different options for you guys if you wanna go ahead and buy anything from the outfit. Again, if we can reach 4,500 likes, I'll do a $500 challenge. So please, let's hit that down below. Let's go ahead and smash the thumbs up button like H3H3 says in his videos. I'm challenging you guys right now. Can we please get 500,000 likes on this video? Shout out Jacob Sarf using that in one of his videos, but that's the outfit. Again, let me know down below who you wanna see next, the top like comment I'm gonna do, unless it's like, a joke, like somebody's trolling me or something. We'll go ahead and do that though. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing up. No dreams too big. Chase anything, got the passion to do. Only a dream till it happens to you. Finally seeing money, now I'm acting a fool. Never thought touring the world all year. I'd be something I might actually do. Friends came through, got me so high. I forgot who I was passing it to. Party in a mansion, splashing a pool. Reminiscing 06 back in the school. My whole crew come through and rap with a